And if you thought a work of art was limited to just paintings and sculptures, think again. Yeah, NFTs, what are they? Non Fundable, no fungible. Fun- what does fungible mean? Well, we're about to find out. Don't ask me. Fungible tokens, <laughs> right? They're a way of owning original or exclusive digital art, and it is a booming business. We're told, taking the world by storm. People are cashing in as well. Right now, Europe's first NFT advisory gallery is opening in London, and our reporter Alice Porter explains exactly what NFT actually is. NFTs are shaking up the art world. The viral video of Charlie bit my finger Ouch, Charlie! Ouch! sold for £500,000 and this digital artwork sold for a record £15 million. But are you still confused about what NFTs actually are? Most of us have heard of the Mona Lisa. You may have a print of the painting at home, but there's only one original Mona Lisa. And NFTs work in the same way. They allow people to own the one-of-a-kind asset, but instead of it being something concrete like a painting, it's something digital, like a meme or a tweet. And if you own the original, then you could make some serious money on it. Qantas will be Europe's first NFT advisory gallery, and one of the founders has personal experience of the money which can be made on NFTs. I was very lucky in that, you know, when I first started getting into cryptocurrency and then with NFTs coming onto the scene, um, I was a relative early adopter there as well. Um, and just because of the success of, of those, I've been able to put a bit of money aside um, for, for my first property, the deposit for it. So, you know, these little digital items, little small pieces of art um, that aren't physical, tangible objects, there's a real demand for it. There have been some pretty bleak assessments that the majority of NFTs will be completely worthless in a few years' time. I mean, is, are they just a gimmick? Is this just a fad? The market itself, um, like I said, is is relatively saturated at this point, I think. Um, So we're seeing more and more sort of brands and corporations enter the scene with large backings and galleries who are, instead of an individual artist now going into the NFT space and making some money from it, um, it's harder for them to do that. So they're seeking out galleries to get represented. With the British Museum currently selling NFTs, they've clearly become mainstream. It's now a $40 billion industry, but with no regulation, NFTs can be risky. Last year, a collector was duped into paying £244,000 for a fake Banksy artwork advertised through his official website. There have been issues already in the space. We've seen some bad actors. And so it is important to protect the consumer, the individual retail investor. And we're very supportive of that. We think uh, the sooner regulation comes into the sector, then uh, the more capital can come into the space and uh, the more the sector can develop. The idea of buying something which isn't a real object may be off-putting to some, but others find NFTs an exciting way of owning a small piece of our digital world. Alice Porter, GB News. Not well, for me. You can have my piece. <laughs> um, okay. Isabel's piece of it. What a lot of tosh. <laughs> you know, and people will be... Con- you know, it's like the emperor's new clothes, mm, that totally. fairy tale. Mm. If we tell you this is good, we tell you this is going to catch on, it will. I like art. I, I like do. Art, but I like to be able to look at it, stroke it, you know, see it, see the three yeah, dimensions. Yeah, you need it not it. to be non-fungible. Oh, who cares? <laughs> who cares? Yeah, not for us. But anyway, there my obviously is a market. Says, it's booming. My mother says... I'm glad I'll not be around for much longer. <laughs> what about, Amen. What, what, but what I'm saying my mother <laughs> says, I didn't say I said. <laughs> okay. But, you know, you look at the world and how it changes and how awful things are, and then mm. you can come up with something. You can buy a picture, but you can't show it anywhere. But you have a share in it. Well, yeah, uh, anyway. Yeah, mad.